On to the latest COVID-19 figures in Singapore. 27 new cases were confirmed today. One was a community case while the rest were imported. The health ministry said of the imported cases, one was a Singapore Airlines pilot who had tested negative for COVID-19 upon returning here, but developed symptoms later. The remaining 25 cases were all placed on stay-home notice or isolated when they entered Singapore. MOH also shared that among the imported cases, seven are Singaporeans or permanent residents and six are foreign domestic workers. Meanwhile, a karaoke outlet has been ordered to suspend operations after 51 people were found crowding and consuming alcohol after 10.30pm on Christmas Day. MZS Family Karaoke on Cascaden Road will be shut for 20 days. Separately, seven other FMB outlets were fined $1,000 each for breaching safe management measures. In other non-coronavirus news, Dixon Yeo, the Singaporean who was jailed in the US for spying for China, has been arrested by the Internal Security Department on his return to Singapore today. The ISD said it will interview the 39-year-old to establish if he had engaged in activities prejudicial to Singapore's security. No further details are provided as investigations are still being done. Meanwhile, a new flood protection barrier is being trialled by PUB in preparation for heavy rainstorms and flash floods. The new expandable device known as Floodgate is made from steel frames wrapped in a waterproof rubber sleeve and can be installed at the entrances of residential, commercial and industrial properties. Each unit will cost between $800 and $200 depending on its size. A driver who fled from the police, reversing his car while two policemen were holding on his arm, was charged in court today with two counts of causing hurt by performing a rash act. Ryan Ashraf Muhammad Azman was a wanted man for jumping bail when the incident took place at a car park in Bukit Bato on Monday. Police later tracked him down and arrested him. An offender can be jailed for up to a year and fined up to $5,000 for each count of causing hurt by performing a rash act.